Good morning, kids and families of the heart. As you know, for our kids moment, we've been focusing on images from the Bible. We've used a lot from Jesus, and we had a special focus on images related to the building up of Christmas. The kids ministry team and I have been talking to you about all kinds of images. We've talked about a plank, salt, a gift, talents, a seed, light. We're really grateful for Mr. David, for Mrs. Gloria, and Mr. Thomas, as they've helped us uh, come to these images in the Bible and interact with God to, to give us something that we can picture, something that we can latch onto and, and understand this relationship with our invisible God. So I wanna give you an image that comes from another part of scripture, from before the time of Jesus. There were poets called psalmists and they wrote about their relationship with God. And I really, really, really like this image from Psalm 42. So let me read it for you. So this is kind of a picture. It's more than just one image, it's a picture. And it gives us two things in relationship with one another, a stream and, and a deer. Okay, it's not quite a deer. This is actually from the land of the Bible. It's called an oryx and Scholars today think this is, if you've ever read through the King James Version, right? I mean, that thing slaps. The strength of a unicorn, if you've ever read that passage, they're probably referring to this particular creature. It's a desert antelope called an oryx. So I don't have the biblical version of a deer in ancient Israel as a toy, but we'll just use this for an example. So just imagine a deer, or something like a deer, craving water, wanting a stream, and they're wandering around in an arid place. You guys know what the word arid means? It's pretty dry, right? So just picture this image from Scripture as this psalmist talks about his relationship with God, a deer panting for streams of water. Let me read from Psalm 42. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? So kids, just like you have a an appetite there's a reason you get hungry it's because your body needs nourishment or thirst right you you wake up and, and you're like ah, i need a i need a glass of water or or orange juice or if you're an, an adult you might like parents you know what i'm talking about you're like i need i need the coffee speaking of coffee all right, you guys know how hunger and thirst work, right? You take the time to identify, I have a, a thirst, I'm, I'm thirsty, I'm, I'm hungry. And then what do you do? Well, you take the time to meet the need. I've identified a need for caffeine, and I'm taking the time to meet that need. The same thing is happening for your soul. And that's what this image is all about that our soul actually has a thirst. And the only way to meet that thirst is to take your soul to the place where it can be filled, to God. All right, so the, the thing is, guys, we have to be in touch with our thirsts and the thirsts of our soul. So I want you to imagine your favorite drink in this cup? Is it chocolate milk? Is it hot chocolate? Is it orange juice? Is it apple juice? Is it just milk? Or is it ice cold water? Or adults, if you want to follow along, is it coffee? Whatever it is that your soul needs, it's not just coming for a drink to survive. Being with God, it's like the best thing. It's like the most decadent, amazing, tasty thing you can do. 
And I know it's interesting comparing God to something you can drink, but that's the very point of this image from the Psalms. So you have this craving, right? And, and here, the, the psalmist is giving a voice and giving us a picture to a craving that maybe we don't always feel or see or understand where to go with it. But your soul longs, just like a deer in the middle of the desert looking for water, your soul longs to be with God. I want you to think of your own soul like a thirsty deer and God like a stream that never runs dry, that never disappoints. So would you identify your spiritual hunger, kids? Would you realize that you need to spend time with God? Just like drinking water, just like eating good food. So let this image soak in. It's not a bad pun. And let the psalmist who gives us this picture, let those words just play in your head over the course of this week. Your soul thirsts for God. Go to Him and you won't be disappointed. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning and week. Godspeed. Yeah, I, I would say that caffeine addiction is is one that we actually even encourage at the heart, if I'm honest. Anyway.